the most significant by far, was Isaac Newton. In optics, Newton discovered that light behaves according to mechanical laws, and that white light is composed of rays of primary color. But Newton is best known for his work in mechanics. Here he drew on the work of Kepler, Galileo, Descartes, and others to construct a new scientific system. From observations, possibly including that of an apple falling, and experiments, particularly with a sling and a stone, Newton evolved a universal law that explained mathematically the attractive force that every particle of matter in the universe exerts over every other particle of matter. The Aristotelian distinction between astronomy and the physical laws of the Earth was dissolved. Newton's universe was vastly more complex than any of the preceding ones. In Kepler's universe, it was the sun that held everything in position. In Newton's, it was the interaction of all bodies with one another. In England, Newton's ideas gained almost immediate acceptance from his fellow scientists. But on the continent, where Descartes' deductive mathematics dominated, their triumph took longer. Largely owing to the publicity given them by Voltaire, Newton's ideas eventually triumphed in France and spread to the rest of Europe. During the 18th century, scientists studied electricity and other phenomena by applying Newton's and Galileo's method of taking one characteristic, motion, shown by all bodies, and choosing other concepts, such as force, in whose terms motion could be discussed. The formulation of general laws for the behavior of these phenomena was, however, essentially the work of the 19th century. Newton's achievement, which seemed to explain the fundamental mechanism of the universe, speeded up the application of mechanistic methods to other disciplines.